what is good people right now where we are is at Costco I normally don't normally shop at Costco but my sister has a car so I thought I might as well show up I haven't been here myself in probably over a year I think actually the last time I was here I actually filmed a video for here as well on YouTube so that was probably about a year and a half ago so I thought I might as well come here see what foods are cheap see what it looks like and show you guys anything I feel like it's probably half decent Alright people, the one thing I do know that's actually good from Costco is when I came here like two years ago, they had like these breaded chicken burgers that were like super super nice and actually weren't bad on the macros. I think each filling was like 19 grams of protein, which for most like processed kind of food like that, it's usually like 12. So I'll show you now. Quickly check it out, I could be wrong. Okay, each chicken fillet, uh, this is... Well, each one's 25 uh, grams of protein, which is not bad for a chicken burger. If you go to like McDonald's, I guarantee the chicken burger you get is not going to be uh, that high protein. But in general, I just like them because they taste good. Uh, they, they still have obviously higher fat than like a normal chicken fillet you'd buy with like just from, like a butcher. Okay, it's breaded, but if you want like a half decent chicken burger, you want to make it at home. These are actually co-signed by me, so I'll buy this myself. It is £10.50 at Costco for a full bag. A whole bunch of them in this full, full, full size bag. The good thing about Costco though I would say is there's a lot of various different things like I in my life have never seen a salmon burger ever never would have thought it even existed The one thing about Costco as well is like some people have never been inside of Costco so I'm purposely going to try and show you guys as much as possible It's basically a massive warehouse that has loads of stuff on bulk so if you need to buy stuff in bulk whether it's food, electronics or whatever I'm only going to focus on the food but that is the main aim of a Costco you need like a membership card to actually join so it's not like a sales but you can't just rock up almond milk um why is what my mom trying to put me off he's not gonna wait do you want to be on camera mom and i'll cut you out <laughs> you are so dumb get out of the shot <laughs> you're gonna i'm gonna make sure i'm zooming on your face anyway for the almond milk normally i have to pay one pound fifty per one so obviously two would equal three pound but the three pack here is three pound fifty so it works out cheaper obviously and as you guys know i do like my almond milk over regular milk nowadays uh, for various reasons, but the main one is it's lower calorie and I do like the taste of it. So I'll be getting a. Ooh. No, I'm just gonna get a three pack, I don't need to do that bad. People, in case you're a chip guy, look at this massive bag of chips. This is weighty. Like, I could throw this in your face and you'd be like incapacitated. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy this, but if this was sweet potatoes, I probably would. But it's a mad amount. And just... But yeah, just give me an idea the sort, of the sort of stuff you can get at Costco, just really massive volumes of food. So if you have a big freezer and a big fridge, it'll be a good shout. Alright people, if you're looking for supplements, you can think about these massive ass tubs. Look at this. This is ginormous. 20 pounds, but if you guys like bulk savings, here you go. Obviously you guys know that I am sponsored by MyProtein though, so personally, I always recommend their products. But if you are someone else wants basic things like cod liver oil or something like that, you can go to one of these stores. The MyP, the MyP. Um, but yeah man, this is mad. This is ridiculously big. Almost as big as my head. Like, I couldn't imagine like buying to me this big if you're someone that loves savings costco is the place for you but in terms of do i think costco is worth it in terms of like food i don't think it is that essential anymore because there's many new companies now that let you buy in bulk like a company i work with is called muscle food but muscle food they let you buy and order food online like in bulk and it'll come up like, through the post in a massive sealed package and it'll basically be very cost effective as well Costco's only good really I guess. It has loads of different stuff, so it's like variety. And I guess it's like a little day out. Like people walk to Costco like it's a fun day out. They'll go up and down the aisles, see various stuff. Like Romel loves it. Look at him. We love car. <laughs> sponsor. You only get sponsored by Nike. That did the poses. Gotta let them know what it's about. The what? Kids in their poses, that is that the, that the new pose? That. That's the new thing. The way you rubbed your face is well, I know you practice that in the mirror. <laughs> cereal aisle here these have got loads and loads of stuff so like those you look like granola and things like that you can buy this here basically Costco has a lot of stuff you have fresh meats you have stored stuff um, what I'm gonna buy in a minute is what I get in normally which is like a massive pack of seasonings those of you that watched the previous uh, grocery shop video I went into detail on seasonings because that's what makes your food taste good because too many men out here have been like just doing dead salt and pepper and their food tastes dead and they try and promote it to you guys so I'll be showing you
Top question, what's your favorite two seasonings? If you had to, if you had to pick one. Like you can't say all purpose, you mean like specific, specific one? Uh, yeah, like specific. Or a spice or something. A spice and a seasoning then, because... Uh, I ask him like he's always chefing at home. It's probably paprika and cayenne. That's actually funny because I think being Korean is the exact same thing. I said my go-to ones are cayenne pepper and mixed herbs. I like just standard. She said cayenne pepper and I think paprika as well. So, but yeah, those are the, that's like a key insight. So basically, all three of us are selecting those. That means it's the top one. Major key. <laughs> major, major key. You know, I've never tried some of the ones like sriracha yeah. powder. That's got to be fire. Got yeah. sauce. Pink Himalayan sea salt people, I love this. Um, it's really good for you in, in comparison to regular salt, it's more natural. Boy, it's three pound 20, but I'm gonna get it just because I like the taste of it. All right, this is the all purpose seasoning, but if you are like absolutely dead at cooking food and you don't have to add spices, this should be an absolute basic. This or a cayenne pepper mixed with mixed herbs, but realistically, you should be experimenting with loads of different flavors because that's how you find out what food's banging and what you can actually live on a nice lifestyle and enjoy foods without having to buy takeaway all the time because you know how to chef yourself. That's what happened to Ramel. Ramel used to always buy takeaways to learn how to cook himself. And then now he doesn't have to do that, he cooks all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna get these two. So as you can start to tell by now, it's a really, really super big store. <laughs> I was hoping it would open. I was about to try and dip one. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep that in anyway. Not that I normally take food from supermarkets. What I was gonna say is this is just a very quick, quick, quick video just showing you like some of the stuff that in Costco you can get, it's a really super big store if you haven't gathered already, in case you can't see. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next video, it should be very funny and this is some of the stuff that I would always buy. But feel free to check out Costco, but there are other options out there, there's muscle food, there's going to a butcher and buying in bulk, there's loads of other solutions but Jesus, I didn't see that, I actually do like, you know, try this over here. Jerky. jerky, yeah, yeah, and built. I don't even know what the difference is, but I normally do sometimes have jerky, it's really expensive, but it tastes all right as a snack. Oh, yeah, I don't, ooh. anyway, jerky aside or built tongue aside, thank you for watching the video. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.